Hey everybody and welcome to today's WordPress tutorial which is slightly different to usual. I am going to be using Elementor Pro but I'm also using the Generate Press theme and the Generate Press Pro add-ons and in particular having the menu add-on included and further to this a small plugin called Code Snippets by Sheer Bunge which is going to allow us to add a bit of PHP. So there's no CSS in this tutorial today. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to be look at replacing this element, sorry, this generate press styled navigation with this elemental one. And let's just be clear, I do all of my navigation styling in generate press and rarely would I want to use the elemental nav widget, but there's a big demand for it. And we have a split menu with a logo in the middle um, template saved here. And what the output's going to be is we're going to change from having this standard generate press fade in sticky navigation to having it with our Elementor template in place. So let's jump across to the back end where we're going to start off by looking at the menus that we have in place. And I have four created. Now one particular one is a blank menu which literally has no content whatsoever. And further this I have a left menu and a right menu which is what I used in the Elementor template, one either side of the logo. And then I have my full menu which is currently what the Generate Press navigation is using. So I'll come to this in a second as to why we need a blank menu. So the next part is we need to have the Sheer Bunge Code Snippets plugin, which is absolutely brilliant. So please do donate because this thing here gives us the additional ability to add PHP functions without editing our functions files directly. So all we need to do is we need to grab hold of our Elementor template and here we have our cloud menu and grab hold of the short code here. And once we've copied that, let's go to the snippets and we would create and add a new one. But I've already generated the code down here, it's very lean and we're going to go into edit to see what it is. And all this does is we have this echo short code command and once we have the code saved and stored away in our little snippets library, all we need to do is replace the elemental shortcode for all the different templates. And all it's going to do is hook it inside the generate inside navigation hook. And this is the brilliant part about generate press that a lot of people overlook. This is a very simple piece of code that's just going to grab hold of one of the additional hooks that Tom Osborne has included in his theme and allow us to place that content in place. So now we've got the code in place, we're just going to save these changes and activate. And the Sheer Bunge plugin actually has got a code parser on it. So if there's any critical issues with that code that could break your site, 99% of the time it actually won't activate the code. So you're safe to actually run these things. So now we have it activated, let's jump back to the front end and refresh and there we have it. We now have our Elementor template in place as part of our sticky navigation. And all we need to do is regretfully remove the Generate Press navigation. So let's open up the customizer and we could just actually edit the layout and tell it not to actually have a navigation but in doing so we lose our hook. So this is where the menus, blank menu comes into place and we're going to set that to our primary and there we go, it's gone. So there we go, a very very simple way without using any sticky plugins that increases the risk of some sort of conflicts or problems and we now have our Elementor template sticky navigation using the Generate Press Pro add-ons. So I actually use that piece of code for injecting other types of content into the Generate Press navigation. You know, occasionally I want to put some social widgets or some other type of content that's better suited outside of the navigation itself. So that code can actually be used for a hell of a lot of different functions. So I'm hoping that today's tutorial on using a bit of PHP using Generate Press Pro and Elementor Pro to create this sticky navigation that everybody so desires. And that's all from me.